the Americas, 500 to 1200. In Mesoamerica, the Toltecs came into prominence following the destruction of Teotihuacan. Meanwhile, in South America, two new civilizations were developing. By 600, Teotihuacan was in decline, and around 750, it was burned to the ground, possibly by tribes from the north. Various peoples tried to assume control, and around 900, the Toltecs established a capital at Tula. It became the center of a military state and trading network that reached from Colorado to Colombia. In 1000, far away in the Yucatan, a faction of the Toltecs invited the Mayan Empire, expanding into northern Mayan city of Chichen Itza. The Toltec Empire came to an end in 1168, when it was overrun and Tula was destroyed. Soon afterwards, the Aztecs moved into the area. The later Maya. Many Mayan cities were abandoned around 800, although some still flourished in the northern Yucatan from 900 onward. Around 1000, Yucatan was invaded by the Toltecs, who stayed there until 1221, building a copy of Tula at Chichen Itza. Warrior chiefs took power from the priests and caused crafts such as pottery, art, and literature to decline in quality. The Toltecs were beaten by the Maya from Mayapan, whose Kokom dynasty dominated the Yucatan for 200 years until civil war broke out in 1480. The Spanish arrived during the 1500s, but the last Maya city-state, Tayasal, did not fall until 1697. Dio Guanaco and Uare Civilizations in South America were based in two places. One was Tiahuanaco, a large city's temple 12,000 feet above sea level near Lake Titicaca in Bolivia. Between 600 and 1,000, it had a population of 100,000. The people of Tiahuanaco made distinctive pottery and jewelry, massive stone dry stack walls, and enormous temple stones. They created a string of towns stretching to the coast and into Brazilian rainforests. The other civilization was the Uari, which includes remnants of several earlier local cultures such as the Nazca and the Moche. This was a powerful military empire covering over half of modern Peru. Uari and Diawanaco may have followed the same religion, but Uari was militaristic and Diawanaco was peaceful. The two empires prospered until about 1000 when they were both abandoned, possibly because of drought.